Hi there, it's Lisa from Wild Eye Embroidery. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you how to paint the outside of a wooden bamboo embroidery hoop. It's absolutely fine to leave your embroidery hoops unfinished, and lots and lots of people do, including myself, but sometimes it's just nice to have a splash of colour on the outside of the hoop. I'll remove the inside of the hoop now. We don't need to paint it, it won't be seen. So we're just going to paint the outside. Now the easiest way I find is just to use very inexpensive acrylic paints. You don't need to go out and buy a whole fancy art kit. Um, these are basically paints that my kids would use all the time and they do the trick. What I normally do is do two coats of acrylic paint and then I use a product called Mod Podge to finish that off. Um, this particular one I've got today is designed for outdoor use but you don't have to use an outdoor one absolutely fine to use an indoor one it's just what I happen to have plenty of today and all this is it's a water-based sealer and that will mean you'll be able to clean or dust your embroidery hoops with no chance of the paint flaking off so it's a good idea to finish that so two coats of acrylic paint um, one of Mod Podge you can also use a PVA based glue or even varnish so I'm actually just going to mix up some paint here. I'm going to use a red and white. I'm trying to get a colour similar to this pink which I'm going to be using in my project. So we'll see how we go. If you're mixing paint it's best not to use the brush you will actually be painting with. It stops it getting a bit hairy. So I always use a wee dab of water first of all. And we'll add some white in. Now it can be a little lumpy, especially if you've had your paint sitting for a while, if it's not brand new. So just keep stirring and mixing to get all the lumps out of it. Okay, I'm just checking with my target colour. Um, not bad, but I think we need to add some white to make that a bit lighter. Okay, that's a pretty good match there, so we'll leave it at that. And any type of brush is absolutely fine. This is just again um, a cheap artist brush. I like to use one with quite a flat because you have to get into all of these grooves. So I like to start with the awkward bits and do the top bit first. Now the good thing about acrylic paint is that if you get it on any of the hardware on the metal any of the fittings, it's very easy to come off. Just a damp cloth will get rid of any mistakes. And don't put too much on. Remember, you're going to be doing two coats. If you're using a wooden hoop with acrylic paint, you don't need to use a primer or anything, so you can just put the paint straight on. And don't forget to check the inside of your hoop here. You don't have to paint it, but sometimes you'll find your paints maybe bled into the inside and you don't want any lumps or bumps that might crack later on. So it's just nice to finish off the inside as well. So I'm just checking that there's no little lumps or bumps and that my paint hasn't bled. That looks okay now. So what I will do, I will hang that up by the hardware. I usually just use a little bit of embroidery thread and hang this up. And I'll give that about half an hour and then it's time to do the second coat. Okay, so that is our first coat dry now. So I will move on to our second. And again, just go around the edges and make sure that the paint is nice and smooth and hasn't bled. And then just check the outer part of the hip where you're going to see the most. Make sure you've no drips. Uh, that is our second coat. So once again, I'm going to hang that up for about half an hour. And then before we put the coats of Mod Podge on. 
So that is my two coats of acrylic paint now dry. Now absolutely fine to use this now but as I said earlier I do like to use a sealant on this. It just means that there's no chance of it flaking or damage being done when you're cleaning it in the future. So I'm just going to use my Mod Podge here. So you don't need to put this on very thickly. A little does go a long way with it. And because it's a PVA type of glue, it will look a little white when you're using it, but it will dry clear. Now, it does come in different varieties. Some are satin, some are matte, some are gloss. And I'm just putting a bit of this on the inside of the hoop as well, just so that the acrylic paint doesn't flake. Just go around your whole hoop and check that you've no runny bits or no blobs. This is quite a thick substance, so make sure it's spread evenly. Okay, all finished. I'm just going to hang this up to dry now. It usually takes about 20 minutes to dry. At the end of the video, it would be brilliant if you click the like button and please subscribe to my channel so that you can see my latest videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.